Alrighty all, I'm Satsy the Clown and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we have a kid robot, my first kid robot thing ever. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kid robot blind box. These from the uh, the new Nickelodeon series. Well not so new now, but the Nickelodeon te Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. These look amazing. I've watched a few unboxings on the net and I've been wanting to do one. So I picked one up at Supernova in Perth. And I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna do it. If you haven't checked out my last video, I just unboxed one of these bad boys. A uh, Walking Dead Mystery Mini. If you wanna see that, check out the link. I'll leave a link for you. If you wanna see what I got, that's the options. If you wanna see what I got, head on to that link and check it out. But other than that, let's unbox this bad boy. I'll show you the box first. Starts off on the top. I paid 15 bucks. I don't know if that's a good price because I bought it there and then I went to another store and they were selling them for 13. I could have saved myself two dollars. So hopefully that extra two dollars has got me one that I hell want. The crazy thing about this series, guys, is I kind of hell want all of them. There's none that I'm kind of not wanting. It's strange. So that's the top. Bottom's nothing real special. Kid robot. Um. The front, you've got a silhouette of a turtle. You don't really know which turtle. Wait, yes I do. Looking at the eyes of the ones on the side, that is Donatello's silhouette. On the back, you've got the Shredder's silhouette. And then on the sides, you have what you've got. They're all... Okay, no, sorry, I lied. The easiest one to get looks like it's the Foot Soldier. He is 4 out of 20. Shredder is 1 out of 20, Splinter is 1 out of 20, and then all the rest are all 2 out of 20. So the chances are pretty well the same for all, really. It's, it's not that different. Higher chance of getting a foot soldier. That's really the only difference. Okay, so on one side we have the good guys. We have Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, Leonardo, and then Splinter. I would be happy with any of those. My favourite turtle is Donatello, but it's strange in this series. I'm kind of, fingers crossed, again, don't care, but I'm fingers crossed for um, Raph or Don. No, not, sorry, not Don. Raph, Raph, I was about to say Raffatello. Raphael or Leonardo is kind of the two turtles that I'm wanting. Shredder, look, uh, Splinter looks sweet. Otherwise, here we go, on the villains. You've got um, Rocksteady, Bebop, Krang. Ah, uh, sorry. Shredder and Foot Soldier. I like all of those, probably leaning towards, I actually, it's weird, I really like the Foot Soldier, I'd be happy to get the Foot Soldier, but I'm kind of aiming more towards Rocksteady and Shredder. So, there we go, doesn't really matter, I will, these, it's weird, this series, I like them all. I'm going to be civilised on this packaging, because I think it looks the sex, and I want to keep it. I'm going to flatten it out and just put it in my box of, um... Packagings. You still have to tear the top, I'm pretty sure. It's got a cool little kid robot logo on the corner there. That's sweet. So here we go. Opening this up. Join Kid Robot Online. Oh, I love packaging that just keeps on showing more stuff. Okay, so we open it up. It's in another bag. Kid Robot bag. That's nice. I'm going to feel it. I'm gonna keep this game going. What do I think we have? I can feel. Oh, you know what, guys? I think I'm feeling. Ooh. I could be wrong. It's hard to completely tell, but I think I've got Shredder. And that will be the absolute sex if it's Shredder. Because I think it's Shredder, I've decided to costume up. I haven't finished, this is a costume I'm building, I haven't finished it. I've only finished the helmet and the arm parts. But here we go, this could be Shredder. Ooh, snap, let's see. Oh, it is beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing. Boom. I love it. Just so you can hear me talk, I'm gonna take this off now. Oh. But that was worth doing. That was worth it. Check this helmet out. It's turned out pretty well, I think. Let me know in the comments what you think. That will go to Supernova one year, but I just have not finished it. So here we go. 
This is beautiful. This is beautiful, guys. Oh, I couldn't have got any better one. Like I said, I wanted them all, but wow, look at this. This is so cool. The cape's not stuck down, so it moves. That is awesome. The head has articulation. The arms are articulated. Oh, I love this. The, the print is perfect. It's beautiful. Oh my, oh my God. Check it out. So you've got detail on the front of your shirt. The straps are just painted on. These aren't. Uh, these are obviously sculpted, as you can see. The knee pads are just painted on, which the, the paint is immaculate. It's beautiful. I can see why people buy Kid Robot and toys and designer sort of vinyl toys. These are flawless. The crazy thing is, like you've even got tiny sculpt of, of the material. The, the cape has got sculpted material on it. Underneath, I don't, you're not going to be able to see in that light, but this paint, this uh, paint job on the front here is on the back. You can't even see it and they've, they've bothered to paint the back of him. You can see his back muscles and the, the, the rest of his uh, waist belt there. That's amazing. The paint doesn't go out of the lines. It's beautiful. This is this is purely this is art, people. This is beautiful. I want more of these. Wow, this is awesome. Anyway, guys, that's it there. That's what they look like. I'd highly recommend these. I'm well impressed with this. I, I'm speechless. This is that good. Alright guys, well that was an unboxing of a Kid Robot, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Nickelodeon series, blind box. Um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you all around in the next videos. Catch you later. Say to the clan out.